so I'm excited for uh, my next meet. Although the Paris Olympics are just a few more months away, Shakari Richardson still has a long road ahead of her, meaning that she'll have to compete in a couple more races to make sure that she'll be among the athletes representing the country at the Summer Olympics. So how is she faring so far? Shakari Richardson had been eager to start the 2024 season and break more records. Well, she still is. Competing in Paris is perhaps one of her biggest goals this year as it would mark her Olympic debut. As most of you know, she missed the Tokyo Olympics in 2021 due to a series of unfortunate events. Since then, she claimed to be back, not better. If things go according to her plan, she will definitely be a part of the Team USA competing in Paris. On that note, how high is her chance to make the team? To answer that, let's talk about how she's been performing so far in the season. You should know that the reigning 100-meter world champion was set to appear in her season debut at the Miramar Invitational held at the Anson Sports Complex in Florida. She was supposed to race against her Jamaican rival Sharika Jackson, with whom she lost the 100-meter dash at the Eugene, Oregon, organized 2023 Prefontaine Classic. The two have had an interesting rivalry so far, as Richardson got the better of the Jamaican track star at the 2023 World Athletics Championships as she stood atop the podium with the gold victory. News of one of the most anticipated showdowns between two track rivals has ignited excitement among fans. And so, when both announced their withdrawal from the event, fans were disappointed. A few days before the event, Shakari announced that she won't be participating. In a social media post, she addressed her fans, saying, Hey everyone, I just want to let everyone know I will not be competing this weekend in Miramar. I'm not going to be like most people that just let you find out. Y'all are going to hear it straight from the horse's mouth. I will not be competing this weekend in Miramar, so I don't want anyone riding their hopes up. Because of this, fans simply have to wait for the battle to possibly pan out in the Diamond League. To make her decision clear, she claimed that a new year has prompted her to take a new approach toward her Olympic journey. Different year, different approach, different energy to my preparation this year, she said. She did begin her individual Olympic season two weeks later with the start of this year's Diamond League Athletics Circuit in Xiamen, People's Republic of China. For context, Richardson ran a relay leg in Florida at the end of March, but this was her first individual race of the Olympic year. However, her first official race of the season wasn't as great as fans would have expected. At the Xiamen Diamond League, Shakari Richardson was stunned by Australian Tori Lewis in the women's 200 meters. Despite running a strong bend, Richardson was behind a Navia battle for most of the race, but moved ahead inside the closing 20 meters. However, out in lane 9, 19-year-old Lewis finished fastest of all to take the win in 22.96 with Richardson second ahead of her USA World Championship Sprint Relay teammate Tamara Clark and battle in fourth place. Just six hundredths of a second separated the top four. Through, but Richardson with a little bit of work to do here. She's got to chase down her American teammate and she has done that. She's just easing up in the end, 22.95. Richardson thought that she had won and was adjusting her hair for the camera as she waited for the result of the photo finish, which went the way of Australian 100-meter record holder Lewis. In the end, there's a photo finish. All eyes on Richardson, who still has the time to uh, see if she looks good for the cameras. Yes, It may not have been a satisfactory finish for most, but Shakari doesn't see it that way. I've been really good about it being a season opener. Kind of late for me in this season to open up, so has, I was a little nervous, but... Once I got on the track, it felt like, felt like home. So I felt really good with this first performance. I know what I need to work on, me and my coach. I'm From there, the American star raced over the 200 meters again the following weekend as the Diamond League stayed in the People's Republic of China for the Shanghai Suzhou meet. There, she wasn't any better. In the women's events, while attention initially focused on Shikari Richardson in the 200 meters, it was Daryl Nieta who stole the show. Great Britain's Daryl Nieta began her season in storming style as she beat a strong field, including Shikari Richardson, to win the women's 200 meters. Anavia Battle ended up in second place while Richardson, the world 100 meter champion, finished a disappointing third. Richardson only just held off her charging world championship sprint relay teammate Tamara Clark at the line. 
and did not look particularly competitive after losing in a photo finish the previous week. The Diamond League circuit next heads to Doha, Qatar, which is set to happen on May 10th, where the women's 200 meter will be replaced with the 100 meter. Whether Shikari will improve in her next races remains to be seen. Speaking of which, the track superstar will headline the women's 100 meter at the Prefontaine Classic Diamond League event on May 25th at Eugene's Hayward Field. There, she is set to make her 100 meter debut in the Olympic season, facing the 60 meter world indoor champion Julian Alfred of St. Lucia and Marie Josie Toulouse Smith of Cote d'Ivoire. Richardson is still on the hunt for her first win of this year's Diamond League season after finishing second over 200 meters at the Diamond League opener in Jaimen and third seven days later in Suzhou. Others view those as disappointing setbacks for the athlete. While she hasn't had the fastest of starts to her 2024 outdoor season with back-to-back -back losses in China, track legend and retired American sprinter Justin Gatlin isn't worried. Speaking on his podcast, Ready, Set, Go, the three-time Diamond League champion said, I would say with her preparation, I'm, I'm not too concerned right now because they are 200s, right? Mm -hmm. um, we know her premier race is the 100 meters. He further shared that he has high hopes for Richardson ahead of the Paris Olympics 2024, claiming that the 23-year-old athlete had realized that what mattered was being fast when it mattered the most. Yeah. She's has, still having fun with this. She's still going out there and enjoying it. She doesn't have the mean mug on. So she's having fun with it. I think it's a, probably a bigger plan and a bigger picture that's happening or unfolding. And we don't know about it. You know? While there are varying opinions about her, it appears that Shakari couldn't care less. Instead... No, best. seriously. Like, have a deep, real conversation. Yeah, not, real conversation. Not no, not no surface level. So. Yeah. Yep, your eyes aren't deceiving you. The world 100-meter champion Shakari Richardson really did meet Grammy Award-winning rapper Cardi B in a video that premiered during NBC Sports coverage of the 150th Kentucky Derby. With the Paris Olympics quickly approaching, we're continuing our push to create combustible moments that will break through the clutter and resonate across multiple audiences, said Jenny Storms, NBCU's Chief Marketing Officer of Entertainment and Sports. Pairing Shikari with Cardi was a natural fit. They are titans in their respective fields, mutual fans of each other, and share many common interests. In the video, Richardson and Cardi B get their nails done together, discuss Richardson's training regimen, and share their love of Paris and excitement for the French capital hosting the Olympics, which opened July 26th. I have no plans of letting life, adversity, any obstacles stopping me from being, being in Paris. Both share a passion for elaborate nail art and are equally excited about the upcoming Olympics Summer Games Paris 2024. So you definitely have to come. Like, you have to come. I I will come just for you. <laughs> just for me? And shopping. And of course. In order to make sure that she'll be in Paris, though, Richardson must make the team in the U.S. Olympic track and field trials from June 21st to 30th in Eugene, Oregon. The top three women in the 100 meters qualify for the individual event in Paris, while likely the top six will go for the 4x100 meter relay. She's also a contender in the 200 meter as the 2023 world bronze medalist in that event. Before trials, Richardson is scheduled to race the 100 meter on May 25th at the Pre-Classic in Eugene, the most prestigious annual international track and field meet to be held in the U.S. Make sure to keep an eye out for it. In the meantime, watch this to see who else is vying for a spot in the Olympic team.